Good morning, guys. What better way to start the day than with bug spray? That rhymed. I need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> I have a bug bite on my hand, a bug bite on my butt. <laughs> the butt one we just found out yesterday, right? Yeah, this morning. <laughs> By the way, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Oh sorry, my god, look I'm at sorry. you. <laughs> restaurant to eat at. It's like a local shop. Everything is about 35 baht which is around a dollar. So we have rice and vegetables and a noodle soup. So we're ready to eat. I have this little bump. It's like a little pimple. Well, actually I have two right on my dimple. So I have a dimple pimple. <laughs> we're ready to eat. It's good? Maybe, yeah, most likely. What we've been doing is just ordering like the regular meals and asking for no meat and no seafood and just vegetables. And we've been having a pretty decent time here, really good time. Um, it hasn't been really hard to eat without meat. We just ask for no meat and they give us vegetables. And a lot of times they'll supplement it with tofu instead of the meat. So that, this thing is focusing on that girl's face. <laughs> Usually we have a good time. Um, it's not really difficult to order meatless dishes, um, but we don't know what the broth and things are made of. It usually is something animal-based, but other than that, it's pretty easy to order without meat. This dish is really good. It's just some type of like string beans or green beans with some type of leafy green rice. And I'm not sure what they put on top, the sauce, but it's really good. That meal was really delicious, and for both of ours, it was only 70 bucks. So very good. Two dollars. Two dollars. We just stumbled upon this really cool looking temple. This is probably my favorite temple that I've ever been to. It's super cute and they have these little elephants on both sides. And I don't know, it's just a really cute little temple. I like cute things as you guys know. And this is definitely really cute. <laughs> Look at this really cool spot you guys. I think you can sit in here. Okay, I hope I'm not going through any spider webs. But this is super cute. It's super cozy. Super cute. I'm not feeling too well, but we found this little computer center. Annie and I are trying to find this mall where she can get her camera repaired because she has something wrong with it. But there's this uh, camera center and we're just, well she's looking around because I'm not feeling too good. We were trying to take pictures at that little temple. It was so cute, but I just, I'm out of breath and I can't really stand, like just stand in one spot for a long time to take photos right now, even though I would love to because that was such a cute temple. Um, but I'm just sitting here while she looks around and then we're gonna head over to the 
uh, mall and hopefully find a place to repair her camera. I cannot express how much having these umbrellas has been so relieving. <laughs> it's rained in Thailand a lot and also in Canada. I never really have traveled with an umbrella. It just it has come in such handy. We found the mall that she was looking for for her laptop, so hopefully we can get some answers to fix it. My baby left her laptop. I just said already. <laughs> it's at the doctor's office. <laughs> you the eye care. Yeah, the eye care. Twenty. Mm -hmm. to get a check what the issues are yeah and then after that I can decide if I want to get it fixed whatever problem it has um, but it's, it's gonna be to expensive know, <laughs> hello <laughs> but it's good to know what what the issue is so yeah. you know what to do yeah these are super cute as a little purse I'm at Starbucks using the Wi-Fi trying to upload a video. You guys don't know, but behind the scenes when you're traveling, it can be really hard to upload. The Wi-Fi at both of our hotels so far has been so slow that it has taken me over a day to even upload a video. I started yesterday trying to upload this video. It's only uploaded halfway in a whole day. So now I'm here trying to upload the other half and yeah, I hope you guys continue to watch because watching really does support my channel um, if you can't hear I'm still really sick <laughs> but um, life here has been really good I've really been enjoying Thailand the food has been so good I can't express to you guys how much I forgot how good Thai food was I have been in Thailand before this is my second time I went for two weeks in 2011 and I had a good time. I'm actually planning to stay here longer than two weeks this time. So I can't wait to just enjoy all the food. I've been enjoying so much of the food. <laughs> the people upstairs have been staring at me. They all have been taking turns trying to take a peek. <laughs> And they'll come and when we first sat down they came and they like there was one girl who's noticed me and she smiled and then she started laughing and then another girl came out so I know she told her to come look and then another one came out so that has been interesting to be back in Asia with all the stairs but it's something I'm used to but it's still always funny or sometimes it can be annoying but right now it's really funny yeah so right now I'm trying to make a patreon post for my patrons on patreon if you guys want to become a patron and support my channel more than just watching, you can also become a patron. I'll leave the link in the description box. And um, yeah, so I'm writing a Patreon post with a few photos of my trip so far. We're back in one of these stores, electronic stores. This is so random, but I am craving a food from Korea. Remember those white noodles I used to eat called dulke kalguksu? Oh my gosh, I could so go for that right now. And I'm not sure, I think my craving comes from the fact that my first time I ever had it was when I was sick. My co-teacher, she introduced me to that dish. And it's so comforting and oh, it would be so nice to have that right now. Especially that I'm sick right now. But I can't. I'm really craving another thing, which is the green curry. I've been really enjoying the green curry with vegetables. So I'm gonna try and have that today. I might have it a couple times today. These are Thai sun chips, Thai lays, and then over here. Lays and these are like maybe Cheetos. <laughs> they have some type of seaweed snack. These look like they might be barbecue flavor. And this is my meal. These sun chips are so random, you guys. They have like kimbap flavor. They have this kind of skewer type 
whatever you call that. This one's like corn. Is this lasagna? <laughs> it is lasagna. I think it's lasagna. Squid flavor. Squid flavor. <laughs> I know. Squid flavor lays. This is so cute. This looks like little mushroom bread. They have meat inside though. They have a scale outside of the supermarket so you can check your weight. My baby thought it was important for me to tell you guys about the scale because she's seen about three of them already. Just so, in one, one day, yeah. So, there you go. They weigh themselves, I guess, a lot. <laughs> we're really excited because we just found Longin for 25 baht per kilo. So we're getting four kilos. But we just got one kilo already for 45 baht. So now we're gonna have five kilos total of longin to eat. We're really excited. And next is the durian. We also got mangoes. <laughs> we're really excited because that's the cheapest longin we've had so far in Thailand. And it's gotten cheaper and cheaper. We went from 100 for yeah. one kilogram. At, the, at that time, we didn't even know the prices here. And then 70. 70. And, and then, then 50, 50. And then 45. 45. And now 25. 25. That's the cheapest. I don't. I really don't think it's gonna get any cheaper than that. Now we know. But now we yeah, know we can get it cheaper. We know now that we know how cheap we can get it. I don't know. It's gonna be hard. It's, it's, you're not <laughs> gonna go back to the 100, 100 baht for one. No, kilogram. never. Now, I think that the most like local. I know. <laughs> the, the most I will pay now is 50 because I think that's like decent, but 100 not anymore. No, we're hunting for durian now. We actually have our spot that we go to, which is over there. It's cheaper, but you know, surprisingly, durian is pretty expensive. Not expensive, you know, expensive, but. It's more expensive than we expected. <laughs> Cheap steaks all the way. <laughs> We're trying to pick a durian. Can you pick a good one for us. No good? No good. <laughs> They're trying to get us to buy the more expensive one. I mean, it's only 100 baht. It's 20 baht more, but still. Why? What's not good? Those soda is not good. Mm. We're going over to this other place. <laughs> it seems like they didn't want to help us. But then he said, oh, the one over there is good. So now we're over here. Can you it might us? be the family, maybe. Can you help? I got the mic. That's so funny. I'm guessing it's like family, because why would they send us over here to get business, to give them business? Finding a good one for us. Three twenty. Two forty. Yeah. He's cutting our durian, and we're gonna have to eat all of it. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. We have to eat all of it before we get back to the hotel because they have a no durian rule. We're hoping we 
get lucky and there's a lot inside. <laughs> it's like you never know. They they um, weigh it and then that's the price. They don't take it out and then weigh it. So it's kind of like you're paying for the whole durian. This is our durian. We got five whole pods out of that durian. And it was actually 260. How's it, baby? It tastes like alcohol. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> I think a bad thing. That piece was kind of good. That bite. You guys, this is so good. I'm really enjoying this. Sometimes durian tastes like cheese to me. This is a Chucky Beat production. That was so delicious. I'm very satisfied. I remember trying to eat a whole durian by myself in Cambodia. And I, got, I felt so sick because it's so filling. That was 260 baht, which is the most we spent on food here in Thailand. It's a little bit over $7, not, not quite eight, but almost eight. It was very delicious and very worth it. Daddy, yes. We splurged today because we walked a lot. So baby was like, she just got some money from the bank. She was like, okay, I'm gonna treat my baby for yeah. some durian. I was like, baby, today I'm gonna treat you because we walked a lot. I just got cash out of the ATM. We're pretty rich right now, you know. <laughs> so we splurged a little bit like $7. <laughs> you like that? I'm so fancy. I spend $7 on my baby. <laughs> you good, baby? I'm good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah? Yeah, that's a lot of money in, in, in here. <laughs> here in Thailand. Yeah. <laughs> $7 can... It's, it's, it can it's, go a long way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. $7. We don't even... I guess, yeah, we do spend like more than $7. A little bit over $7 together for one day. Yeah. Yeah. Food. Yeah. A little bit over $7. Uh -huh. yeah. But like usually a meal is about a dollar. No more than $2 usually. Yeah. Right. So to eat this whole thing in one meal, it's a lot. We. We ate like kings and queens. <laughs> yeah. Who's, who's the king? I don't know. <laughs> the, the puppy. King. The puppy over there. Oh. I've been eyeing all the street puppies. There was a really cute one sitting across from us while we were eating the durian. I think it found a piece of meat and it was eating earlier. <sighs> I want to I wanna steal all the puppies. You want to get some juice? Yeah, just time now. <laughs> just time. Okay, so we got, what did we get, baby? We got star fruit. Mm -hmm. And then we have passion fruit. Yeah, it was 15 baht each. She has a lot of different things here. Yeah, just time. Just time. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to help you? No, oh, you got it's okay. it. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Usually our straws are too short, so. Mm. <laughs> She's just laughing at me. <laughs> oh man, I dropped mine. <laughs> 